everyone, I'm Captain Logan, and it's time once again for the comment of the week. And my favorite comment from last week came from Death Target, who left a comment on my and Dan's uh, podcast on the past, present, and future of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And he writes, If the Coming Out of Their Shells tour didn't kill it, nothing will. Dan and I were debating a little bit on what the Michael Bay uh, Ninja Turtles movie might end up doing for the popularity of the franchise, and uh, that's a good point. Um, the uh, Coming Out of Their Shells tour was something that I watched when I was a kid, too, and if you're not aware of it, it was this live stage show that they did with the Ninja Turtles where they sang these really awful songs and they had the worst shredder suit imaginable. Uh, go look it up on YouTube if you've never seen it before so that you can uh, feel my pain. Man, going back to it, uh, which I did a couple years ago from uh, not seeing it since I was a kid, wow. Uh, not holding up is an understatement. Uh, I've considered doing a Superhero Rewind on that. There's not really a whole lot of a story to it, but it might be fun to at least do a short mini episode with it, I'll consider it. Uh, I, I keep thinking about that, and it might be fun to revisit it. Um, or perhaps fun is not the right word. Anyway, announcements. Uh, I haven't done comment of the week in the last couple weeks, so uh, lots of things to talk about. And the first thing I wanted to say is, uh, first of all, thanks everybody for wishing Vince congratulations on his wedding. Uh, he just got back uh, this last week from his honeymoon. He's been doing uh, Vince verses on places he went on his honeymoon. He and Elena went to all kinds of cool places. And if you haven't watched it yet, uh, be sure and check out Vince versus New York City, where he talks for a good 40 minutes uh, about his experiences in New York City and it's really uh, interesting and fascinating. Check that out. Uh, he went to three other places that he's doing videos on, and those will be coming up uh, subsequently in the next week or two. Uh, what else is going on? Also, I wanted to uh, thank everybody, because it's been this long since I've done an announcement video. I want to thank everybody for um, all of your kind words about of the skydiving video, uh, the 10,000 subscribers. Uh, it was really uh, neat to see all of the folks that watched that and left comments congratulating us on 10,000. And once again, thanks to all of you for subscribing and helping to make that possible. Uh, what else? This week, uh, hopefully, Superhero Rewind on X-Men First Class. We've got the Wolverine coming out this week. I can't promise that the Rewind is going to come out before the Wolverine is actually released. I'm going to do my level best uh, to make that happen. But anyway, it will come out very, very soon uh, around that release. Uh, we will be doing, of course, a new movie review on the Wolverine when it comes out. And uh, anyway, so look forward to that. I'll be working on that this week. Obviously, I'm really behind on Spawn Year uh, still, and I didn't get any Spawn Year out whatsoever over the weekend. I wanted to apologize for that. Uh, that's kind of twofold. I had no idea uh, until a couple weeks ago that I was going to have family in town at the same time as Aaron Dicer was going to be in town. And uh, Aaron and I spent uh, most of the weekend, or yeah, most of the weekend together with uh, with our family and his family. And also, I had to juggle that with seeing some of Sarah's family. So with all of that going on, it was impossible to get any video production done. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to let everybody know that life stuff this summer, as I've said before, has been making it really difficult to get videos out on time. It's why you haven't seen any rewinds. Uh, that's why I've had to put Canon of Crypto Freaks on hold, and it's why I haven't um, even been getting Spawn Year up as regularly as it's supposed to be, because of course, that's supposed to be daily, and I'm a couple weeks behind on it. So anyway, uh, don't worry. I'm going to start doubling those up as much as possible and getting that done. Uh, it's going to happen before the end of the year. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that all of the episodes are, are done before the year is over. And also part of it is uh, I went to a baseball game with Aaron uh, yesterday, and uh, I'm really so sunburned and uh, it's gonna be it's weird to try to shoot spawn year with a sunburn because it doesn't make any sense so anyway uh, not shooting spawn year right now but working on uh, getting some of it written so anyway hopefully new episode new episodes uh, really soon what else um, like I said I shot some videos with Aaron Dicer if you've never subscribed to Aaron's channel or looked at his videos uh, please go check him out I'm gonna leave uh, links in the description so that you can uh, see his, some of his recent stuff and uh, things that he's working on and Aaron is a uh, really professional-looking uh, movie critic, and he's actually on TV now. Uh, he does he does weekly movie reviews on television for his uh, for his uh, news channel there in uh, Springfield, Missouri, and he's posting those as well as uh, some very professional-grade videos that he's making in the TV studio. Uh, if you want to see uh, a really good critic that does very quick three-minute reviews of every movie that comes out, and uh, to help you decide whether or not you want to go to something, check out Aaron Dicer's reviews. He's absolutely fantastic. And he and I and Vince uh, shot a GNN and a Recommends, which will be coming up uh, really soon. So it was really great to get, to get to meet Aaron in person. Uh, 
Um, we hit it off fantastically, and uh, we're going to be spending a lot more time together. So uh, anyway, uh, Aaron, if you're watching this, thanks again. I had a really fantastic time getting to uh, see and hang out with you all weekend. Uh, Superman Batman news, of course, as everybody probably knows by now, uh, the, one of the big major announcements at Comic-Con this weekend was that Warner Brothers is is uh, indeed doing Superman Batman next, and that that's going to be in 2015. Uh, that's going to be their next big movie. And, and I guess uh, they're doing that as kind of the Man of Steel sequel. There's not going to be anything in between as far as I can tell. Um, surely they're not going to rush anything for 2014. That would be crazy. So anyway, uh, people were asking us to do a video talking about that and I'm going to do that as soon as I can uh, if, if uh, Vince wants to talk about it. Uh, he and I usually meet on Wednesdays so I will get, so hopefully uh, he and I will get a chance to discuss that and post a video for you on Thursday. So uh, for those of you, I've been getting inundated with messages, so those of you that are waiting to hear f uh, from us on that, I'm going to wait until I get a chance to talk to Vince about it. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to mention is I I did a commentary with the real Manos that's coming out this week, and that's on Mask of the Phantasm. So look forward to that. So lots of cool stuff coming out this week, and uh, more of uh, Captain Logan playing catch up. Uh, so much stuff going on this summer. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep afloat right now. Uh, but anyway, so uh, working on lots of stuff for you. You'll, there, there will be regardless of whatever is going on, videos up for you as always every day. Uh, thanks everybody as always for your comments, for your support, and for watching us. And we sure appreciate it. I'm Captain Logan, and I'll see you again very soon.